Hi everyone, Jillian from A Jillian Vance Design here, and today I wanted to showcase a new product that we're offering in our store, which is the Crafters Workshop Stencil Butters. So these are really, really fun, and I'm going to be showing you what they all look like, and again, we have all 10 colors available in our store. If you'd like a tutorial on how to use them, I'm going to go into it a little bit, but I'm also going to be linking down below some past Facebook Lives that we've done that I have played with these, and I'm also going to compare them to another product. So let's just get into it, and I'm going to show you guys what these are all about. So let's go. Alright, so as you see, I have the 10 colors here. I was going to lay them down like this, but they kept sliding around, so I was like, mm, maybe not. And then at the end, I'm also going to show Shimmery Goodness, which is also by the Crafters Workshop. I'm telling you guys, their products and their these butters and these embossing tools, um, pastes and tools, whatever you want to call them, are just absolutely incredible. So let's just get into it. As I said, there are 10 colors. They are all available on our website. I'm really hoping they release more because these are incredible. So let's just go ahead and start off. I'm going to show you what they look like in the jars, and then some of them you will be seeing when I do a sample, but I'm not going to swatch every single one. I'm just going to show you what they look like in the jars. So this first color we have is called Gamboge. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous yellow. I'm absolutely obsessed with this color. It's perfect for, it's going to be perfect for your sunflowers, for just little accents um, here and there, the sun, nice little bright spring cards and summer cards. So, and of course, mixed media projects. So these are stencil butters. They have their own stencils if you prefer those. And also, I have plenty of videos and lives showing you how you can use my dies as stencils, and I'm going to show that in this video. So don't don't miss out on those because they're they're fun. Next up, we have turquoise. Again, it is a very gorgeous color. And all of these are very true to color in the jar and on your project, so they are all gorgeous. Um, they really are. So, love the turquoise. And this is coming off a bit more blue on camera, but it is green. Greeny blue. I mean, you guys know what turquoise looks like. Um, so, it's a very, very gorgeous color. Next up, we have Ocean Blue, which is more of your deeper, darker, truer kind of blue color. Again, one of my favorites. Absolutely gorgeous, and it looks so incredible with the turquoise in an ombre, which I tried on my New Year's Eve live at the request of Jamie, who owns the Crafters Workshop, as well as Ken Oliver. So that was fun. Got me out of my comfort zone. And also, I'm sorry if the dogs are barking. Um, that happens. They do that. So next color we have is Crimson. So this is a very gorgeous, gorgeous red. And I want to let you guys know that these all have a shimmer to them. So they are they're not metallic, but they do have that little glittery effect. So, yeah, this one is beautiful. It's red. Um, it has a little, it leans a little pink, but it's still still one of your reds that um, I think you're going to like. It reminds me of lipstick. Like, I feel like that would be a really gorgeous color of lipstick, and it probably is somewhere. So there's Crimson. And we also have Fuchsia. So Fuchsia is, of course, bright pink. Magenta. Another absolutely gorgeous one. I love, love, love her. I love it. So, so pretty. Like, I can't, I just, I can't say how pretty these are. So then we have Marigold. And this is going to be your orange. So you know how there was a crayon? I don't know if they still make it, but it was called mac and cheese. This kind of reminds me of that crayon. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is a perfect orange color. 
Um, it is coming off a little yellow orange on camera, but it's definitely, definitely one of those true oranges. Is that the word? Um, and I actually might use this one with my sample because I haven't tried it yet. Next up, we have Terra Verde, and this is a dark, foresty type of green with a hint of turquoise, and it kind of, these two are comparable, but they're not the same, as you can see. They are very different. So, I definitely love this one. I also haven't tried it, but I have faith that it's actually absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see, I mean, these jars are filled up. The ones that I haven't tried yet, these jars are filled. You are getting great quality and a great bargain um, for these because they're $7 a jar. And you're going to get two ounces. So, I mean, that's, that's good. It's a lot. Next, we have lime green, which is pretty self-explanatory. Love this one as well. So gorgeous. And then we have Orchid, which is a beautiful purple. Love, love, love. It's a very true to color purple. Um, as you can tell, we're going colors of the rainbow here, and I love how they did that. Love those colors. And I have used this quite a bit. Definitely one of my favorites. And then, finally, we have chartreuse, which is chartreuse. I mean, it's a very yellow-green color, and it's absolutely stunning as well. These are all just so gorgeous, and I just love the quality of the shimmer in there. It just really adds a lot to it. So those are the stencil butters. You can pick up a palette knife. We have these in stock too or if you have your own that's fine go for it and I just want to show you a couple of things that I've done with the stencil butters so actually they're all going to be the same project because I have been working on this for a hot minute here So I have been planning the craft along for the one of a kind virtual event and that required a lot of experimenting with using the stencil butters on acetate sheets. So I have acetate here with my flower burst cross and I use that as a stencil. And here's the card we're making, um, shameless promo, join us in the one of a kind group, February 20th. So there's those, and finally I want to show you this one because I kind of messed up on it because it pulled up some of this, the paper I used as a stencil, but this has that ocean blue to turquoise ombre. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but it's there. All right, so let's go and do just a sample of how this works and then I'm going to talk about some other things including the shimmery goodness and then another product that I have here to compare it to that you might be more familiar with. So I have this cut out for a previous video so I'm just going to use this. This is the Flower Burst Cross. So what I'm going to do when I'm doing this is I tape it down very thoroughly, very I just want to make sure everything's all good so I'm not covering up any areas that I want to be stenciling. want to make sure we get all of that and get all of those little details so that's why I'm doing that now I don't need that much got a little too much there So 
as you can see, I'm just taping it all around to keep it in place. This can be a tedious process, but it's worth it because you don't want, you know, anything to get on the outside of the tape. You want it to be clean and clear. And also, I'm going to be doing this on the live on the 20th as well. I'm going to show you guys some stenciling techniques, not just with the stencil butters, but also with the ink. So check it out if you're interested in that. So I'm going to go ahead and let's, mm, I kind of want to do chartreuse. Let's do chartreuse. So I have it here and I'm going to take just a little bit on the back of my palette knife. It does not take a lot at all. And I'm going to just smooth it over the stencil. And as you see, I mean, a little goes a long way. I'm being, I'm able to cover most of this with just that little bit. Oops, I got some on the paper, but that's okay because I'll probably cut it out later. Okay, so I'm going to go dig in for more, but not much more at all. Wipe off any excess I might have so I'm not wasting any and putting it back in the jar. And what I like about the stencil butters is they're already colored. Like, they're already there. You don't have to mix up the colors, which is fine too, but it does make a little bit more of a mess. So then I'm going to just take off my tape. And this is, the tape is pretty much one and done. Like, I don't... If you wanted to let it dry and reuse it, you could, but again, it's pretty messy, so I would just use it the one time, you know. Maybe if I can get it off. <laughs> And such a beautiful cast of colors. I just really, really love um, the ones that they chose. And again, I don't know if more will be coming out, but I hope so because that would be awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to take off. And you have your finished product. As you can see, I did get it on here over on the paper, but once it dries, which takes about 15 minutes to dry, then, you know, I can go ahead and cut that out on my Big Shot or whatever machine that I have. So that is good. That is lovely. The other thing that I wanted to bring up is, and I'm going to set these to the side, let them dry. And these are easily washed off. If you have it on something to wipe this off, I'll just use a baby wipe. No biggie. So the other thing I want to talk about from the Crafters Workshop is shimmery goodness. And I'm not going to demonstrate. This might be a different video. But the shimmery goodness, um, you get the 8 ounce. And we have this on our store as well. So you get an 8 ounce jar. Maybe if I can open it. Okay, I can't open it, <laughs> but the shimmery goodness, you can see what it looks like. It is clear, pearlized, um, I'm sorry, it's white, it's not clear. It's pearlized, it looks very, very beautiful, and what you can do with this is mix in inks or mix in paints, and the difference between it and the stencil butter is that this is a little bit thinner, so that's about it, um, but this one, you have to mix your own colors, so a little bit more work if you wanted to do that but that is available to you and I love that stuff as well so 
you might be familiar with embossing paste. Um, and if you're not, an embossing paste is basically the same technique. You put your ink, you add your ink in there, and you mix it up, and then you put... I have a video on this, so I'll link that as well. But then you do the same thing that I just showed you, and you get that effect. So this is more... I don't want to touch it, but it's more kind of like foamy, I guess. And with this, you're not going to get as smooth of a texture as you would with these stencil butters or the shimmery goodness. So I just wanted to say that if you have this, um, they are similar. But personally, now I prefer the stencil butters because you're going to get a much smoother surface and appearance on your projects which I always value, and if you wanted more of a grunge look, you could definitely use the embossing paste, but again, I strongly prefer these stencil butters. I believe in them, I love them, and that's why I wanted to bring them to you. So these are available for purchase at the Age Only Advanced Design website if you would like to check it out. And that's it, that's all I have to say. Join us on the 20th for this project where we will be working with the stencil butters further and I'll probably be giving more tips and tricks as we go along. Again, there's also plenty of videos on my channel talking about them. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!